Oh shit, I forgot I need fuel. What's up guys, Bearded here, and welcome to this week's episode of Sunday Scratch. I know I've missed out on a couple, again, it's, I think I'm only going to upload Sunday Scratch if there's something interesting to upload and I have uh, footage, I guess. Like, today uh, I was just out onto a lookout, um, it's pretty well like, it might be on the tail of what we call Digby Neck in Nova Scotia, but um, basically I went and got a couple shots for some speed ups of rolling fog and uh, waves and so on, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to be getting any more shots, but I thought, hey, I haven't done this before, why not set the camera on the floor, on the passenger side, and record myself. So that's what I'm trying to do right now, and uh, I'm doing it while I'm driving, and I think it's great because I can drive and not worry about people looking at me, unless my windows are down. If my windows are down, then that would be a bit of a problem. Some interesting news. Um, a friend of mine, you might have seen him from a uh, previous episode of, I believe it was uh, Minecraft on my server, and his name is Ghost. And I won't say his real name, but uh, throughout university we kept running into each other, and uh, we still talk online, and we, we kind of just became friends that way. And turns out we're both going to. Uh, study in the fall in the same place so uh, we decided to rent an apartment together and we found one for about 680 a month but we got to pay for internet everything else is included except for furniture we got to bring that ourselves and uh, we plan on getting um, I guess it wouldn't be fiber op but he I always thought Rogers was bad but he claims that Rogers is the best internet so we're getting Rogers. He says he's going to get an Asus router um, that's made for gaming, and I think that'd be great. But also, um, we're staying in the same apartment, and but we're not studying like in the same building. It's like he's going to the university of that city, and I'm going to uh, a college that's a little bit further away. And I haven't found a job yet for down there, but I'm still looking. But still, that's it's great. I, th I think this is great, and things are moving along. I thought I was going to be tight on money, but turns out I will have enough.
been a lot kind of going on, like, especially uh, nature-wise. It's been pretty dry. Last night it rained a ton, but for like two weeks before that, it there was no rain and everything dried out. The lawns were dying, the trees are dying, and we actually ended up with a huge forest fire sort of in the middle, uh, like, I guess central, southern Nova Scotia. And it's actually not even 20 minutes away from where I'm staying with my dad, and it kind of freaked us out a bit. And it was mainly because they were trying to put it out and get it contained, but all we kept hearing on the news was, oh, it's only 40% contained, and it burned something like over 400 hectares, which is, I think, oh, I'm low fuel. Um, I might be wrong, but I believe one hectare is a football field. Oops. So you can imagine just how how big that fire is. And it's not like it was burning the tops of the trees. It was burning underground. Like it started burning the grass and sort of like the small trees, but then it got hot enough that it was burning the dry roots of the trees, which of course roots are underground. So they actually ended up getting excavators and bulldozers and they were sort of pushing and digging up the ground around where the fire was so far and then they would pack it back with dirt and uh, that way it would block the fire and it would only burn that inside that circle. So far it's still burning but we haven't heard much since and uh, on top of that there was like nine or ten other small fires around the area. A few were like a little bit farther away but they were starting to suspect that somebody lit them on fire and they've actually oh, excuse me. they've actually banned people from going in in like trails or just in the woods uh, in the area it was insane like apparently if you even if you didn't have the intent of camping or having a bonfire or whatever even if you're just walking down a trail and like natural resources catches you or something apparently that's like a 400 and something dollar fine that's insane hi can i take your order yes yeah, so i'll have a uh, medium creamy chocolate chill please okay. anything else a uh, chocolate chip muffin heated please That's everything. Alright. It's gonna be 5.50. Thank you. You're welcome. How the fuck do they not have muffins? Debit?
This quickly became Welcome to the Adventures of Bearded Kitty. Well, that was fun. I'm gonna be out the f out of here.